Hey guys, so today I am doing my empty house tour. This is something that I promised you in the last vlog that I did where I shared with you um, that my husband and I just purchased a home here in Las Vegas. We're so, so excited. I fell in love with this home like at first sight. Uh, let me just show you this front door because I love it. The realtor <laughs> still has the lockbox on there. It's hanging off of the doorknob there. But anyway, this front door is really gigantic. It's very, very tall and it's made out of metal. And whenever you open and close it, it sounds like a gong. But I just wanted to share with you the portico here outside. Uh, this is hanging over our front entryway. Isn't that beautiful? I love how finished it is with the wood, the lighting, and this beautiful chandelier. All right, let's head on inside. Okay, before I show you anything, I'm just gonna turn around. So here's the inside of the front door. When you walk in, there's a very large entryway, and I'm just gonna apologize for the echo, but it's because the house is empty. And right directly in front of you is the great room, which has double height ceilings and a gas fireplace in there. So we have a lovely view of our neighbor, <laughs> it's the side of their house, and our pool in the back, which I'll show you in a bit. But here is the fireplace. And I really fell in love with it because it was quite different from what we had seen here in Vegas. We don't really see a lot of like poured concrete uh, fireplaces. They're usually, uh, you know, brick or those ribbon fireplaces, those really modern ones. And I just wanted something a little bit more classic looking. So all of this is uh, painted concrete. And if I walk towards the windows here and turn around, I actually see the walkway upstairs. Sorry, my camera just keeps autofocusing. Um, the walkway upstairs. And we will get to that in just a bit. Let me just walk back towards the front door so I can show you the staircase, which is what really had me fall in love with the home. So when you walk in right to your left, there is this beautiful, rounded staircase. And look at those lighting fixtures. I just love them. They're like shell. And there's windows along the staircase. Walking towards the great room, I'm gonna make a right first. And here is our hallway here. Again, beautiful lighting fixtures all throughout, which is really wonderful. To the right here is what they designed to have as a home theater. So there is a lot of audio and visual <laughs> connections here. My husband and I are not that into movie watching. I mean, we'll watch something at home, but we don't need a whole setup like this. So what we're gonna do is turn this into a gym. So we're gonna put up some mirrors, put down some like rubber flooring, um, get a TV in here, and basically use this as a gym. It's got double door closure, which is really nice. And I do wanna point out the flooring. So this is all, I believe it's white oak flooring, and I love that the panels are on the wider side, not super wide, but not the typical sort of hardwood flooring. So it's all throughout, it's just really, really beautiful. It keeps the space looking really light and airy, um, but very, very natural, which I enjoy. I was happy to see that this house incorporated real wood, even though I know it's a little bit more high maintenance. So back into the hallway here, we had turned right into the gym, and if you look left, we have our dining room. And the dining room has really beautiful chandeliers. Get up close. Aren't they beautiful? So there's two of them, and then they put some wood beaming in there. And while I'm pointing upwards, there's like speakers and AV sort of pre-wired and set up all throughout. So this is the dining room. Uh, let me turn on the lights here. You can see the chandeliers a little bit better that way, yeah. Aren't those pretty? So a lot of the fixtures in this home were probably not ones that I would pick personally, but I really love them. Really, really love them. And I'm glad that 
they sort of took that decision making away from me because <laughs> it would probably take me years to figure out what lighting I wanted where. So anyway, I'm really happy with these. So this is the dining room, and I'm sorry because there's so much white in here, my camera's having a hard time focusing. So I'm going back into the hallway here. So if you were to continue straight, and then make a left, which is like the other side of the dining room, we come to our butler's pantry. So we have this little extra pantry area that has a ton of cabinets and drawers, and a wine fridge, which is for my household, unfortunately, is gonna be a Pellegrino fridge. More drawers, and then on this side we have more drawers, more cabinets. And then, if you were to continue straight, we have a wet bar, and I'm gonna go around the tiling throughout the kitchen area. Is this beautiful, like grayish, sage green color, and I love how the, the color of it isn't uniform. It almost looks like watercolor. That's the tiling. I don't know what this is. It's some sort of granite, I'm assuming, in terms of the countertop that we have here at the wet bar and also in the butler's pantry. My realtor <laughs> gave me some bath towels, some big old bath sheets, actually, uh, for the pool. And here we have some more drawers, another wine slash Pellegrino fridge, an ice maker, and then this little sink. And this wet bar is positioned perfectly because if I turn around, there's this great, you can't really see it because it's backlit, but this great pass-through window. So if you've got people outside, you can pass them some drinks really quickly. And then walking into the kitchen, we have a little desk area here with some cabinets. And then the kitchen, which is just so beautiful. And again, I just love the lighting fixtures, but I would not have chosen them myself, but they're just, yeah, they just fit so well in this space. So these counter stools, I'll, they'll actually show up in my next vlog uh, when they get delivered. I talk a little bit more about them, but I just purchased those. So those just got delivered. They didn't come with the house. <laughs> so I have six counter stools here, and here is the gigantic kitchen island. And I'm not sure what kind of stone this is, but it is, but I don't know if you can see the seam here, but it is book matched here, and also here. Here's the other seam. Isn't that beautiful? So this island is really enormous and I love it. <laughs> I just love it so much. And here is the microwave drawer, which really threw me for a loop. When I hit open, I was expecting the door to swing open, but it actually rolled out. <laughs> I was like, oh wow. And then here is clothes. And here is our fridge and freezer. So they are built-ins, but they're column style. So they're separate. A lot of built-ins are just one unit, which I think is great because, you know, if your fridge for whatever reason breaks down, your freezer is still working and vice versa. So anyway, column style fridge and freezer. And then some cabinets up top, which I'll probably never use because they're like 12 feet up in the air. <laughs> and here is the range. So we have a giant range here. I think it's not sure how wide it is, maybe 48 inches? In any case, it's a six burner with a griddle. Oh, and all the appliances are Gen Air, by the way, if you're interested. Um, and this one comes with two ovens. And then over here, there's another oven. Wasn't quite sure about this. I mean, I guess it'll come in handy for once or twice a year that I have company over, maybe for the holidays, but um, I have three ovens kind of overkill. And here is the hood. I actually posted this up on Instagram because I just love this hood so much. I just think it's so beautiful. I saw a lot of hoods with this style when we were, you know, searching and looking and they all had, I don't know, they all had something going on here. Either it was like um, a carving or some more metal or whatever. And I just liked how 
this was really beautiful and elegant and just not overdone. And then more cabinets, we've got brushed gold hardware, which I really enjoy also. The backsplash with the uh, tiling, same as from the wet bar and the butler pantry. And then we have one of these, these farmhouse sinks, is that what they're called? With more gold fixtures here. And then we have two dishwashers. And I'm fully aware that this is way overkill for <laughs> just my husband and I, but we are coming from no dishwasher. We actually have a dishwasher in our townhouse, but it just, just doesn't work well. It just doesn't clean the dishes. So we just do everything by hand. And so we're very excited <laughs> to have a dishwasher, let alone two. More drawers. And then, I don't know if I pointed this out, but there's more cabinets underneath the island, um, underneath the, or in front of the counter stools. And then at this end of the kitchen is the pantry, which I thought was a little bit small. Here, I'll show you. So here's the pantry, and I'm just happy to have any pantry because I've never owned a pantry, and in fact, I think this pantry is probably the size of my first bedroom in New York, but uh, just considering how large like the rest of the kitchen is, I thought this was a little bit small, but there's so many cabinets, I don't think we're gonna need this pantry too much. I've brought some of our paper, <laughs> paper products over already. And then right next to the kitchen over here is the family room, so home came with a TV, which we were surprised about, um, but I'm thinking I may want to move the TV to this wall. I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're just going to have to figure out how we're going to set things up and when we watch TV and where, um, because if we're sitting here eating, which I feel like is going to happen a lot, um, we have to like turn our heads completely to watch TV. But if it's on this wall, it's like a little bit, a little bit easier to watch. I don't know. And then I think I blew right by this area. So this is next to the wet bar. Um, but this is where a little like casual dining area is. So there's this really interesting um, angle to the room here. So I think we'll put like a round table here underneath this chandelier. Another chandelier that I would not have picked myself. It's beaded. Isn't that cool? It's beaded and I, I love it. I just think it looks so great. But again, I just, I wouldn't have picked it myself, but I, I really, really enjoy it. So that is this area. It's by the butler pantry and the, and the wet bar. Okay, and lastly for this side of the house. So here's the desk. Here is the kitchen. If we walk down here, there is a laundry room. Here is the laundry room. And look at this beautiful tiling. Let me, let me get up close here. Look at that beautiful tiling. All the way up to the ceiling, we have some upper cabinets, lower one. And this is actually plumbed, but they didn't put a sink here. So I think I'm gonna put a sink in here um, and then uh, like maybe a stackable laundry situation. Um, because I want this to kind of be Butter's room. So I want to get a sink that's large enough to be like a doggy bath and then maybe put a little dog house in here for her, have her little like wee wee pad and everything. So yeah, I want to make this Miss Butter's room. And then across from there is our little half bath. Again, with some really gorgeous tiling, the commode. And then the sink, which is, I believe, poured concrete as well. It's like all one piece. It's so beautiful. I have to get rid of that rust stain somehow. And then we have matte black um, hardware in here. And then it's open at the bottom. I threw those baskets down there to make it look a little bit less bland. And check out that lighting fixture over the sink. So pretty, and it works so well with the tiles. You guys probably noticed all the hardware on the doors are this like matte black, so the handles are the matte black as well. 
and then all the doors are like solid wood. They're really, really heavy. All right, and in front of us is actually the garage. So we have a four car garage. My car looks tiny in here, which is hysterical because currently when I pull her into our um, two car garage, which really only fits one car, it's it looks like it's just gonna run over the entire home. But anyway, four car garage here. So it's split by double doors. And then the garage floors are epoxied, which is really nice. Got some nice natural lighting in here. <laughs> so let me finish the downstairs before we go outside. So I'm just gonna walk back towards the front door here. So we're back here by the stairs and the front door and the great room. So we had made a right to go towards the kitchen. If you go left, this is where all of our offices are gonna be. So my husband's office is going to be in this room and it is deemed an office so they didn't put doors up, but we're gonna have to put doors up for sure. I don't know what we can do. I was thinking about doing barn doors just because I feel like that's pretty easy. You can just, you know, hang them at the top and then, you know, roll them in and out. But there's this sticking out of the wall and I don't know if there's enough room here for a door to slide and maybe not enough room that way either. And I thought, oh, maybe we hang them on the inside um, and that could work. But when they're open, they're gonna block these outlets. So. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. Maybe we'll just put doors in, like normal doors. Um, so this is his office. It's you know pre-wired for TV, which he's really excited about. We've got three beautifully sized windows that overlook the pool, and then he's got his own bathroom here with a shower. And look at this tiling. Again, I wouldn't have picked it, but it's just. It's so pretty. And then check out this light fixture over the sink. It looks like hand-blown glass. It could be, it's got those bubbles in there. It looks really kind of um, like hand-blown at the bottom. Isn't that so cool? I love it. And I love that they put the tiling all the way up to the ceiling here. All right, so that is my husband's office. I'm just gonna continue going down this hallway. Did I show you these light fixtures? So beautiful, there's three down this hallway. And here is a closet with nothing in there. <laughs> We're gonna need to get some major closet work done in here. And walking down, there's a nice window here to the backyard, which we'll go out to in just a sec. And then here is what they call the casita. So it's almost like an attached apartment. I'm going to be using this for my office and my filming room. So here it is. I love this window so much. And then look at this light fixture. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And then there are these three little windows. So this is just a really awesome size. We have French doors here. They actually lead outside and I don't know if you can tell but there is like a little section in the tiling there and I'm gonna put like a little outdoor bench there. And then this is the walk-in closet for the casita which again is larger than the bedrooms I had in Manhattan. And here are the light fixtures in the closet. These are just like the ones over that casual dining area, just smaller in size, but they're beaded. We've got some windows in here. And then over here we have the bathroom. So we've got a beautiful sink, mirror, two sconces, some hand towel racks, a towel hanger, and then we've got a shower situation. Again, the tiling goes all the way up to the ceiling, which I really love. And 
And let me show you the tiling down here because I just think it's so pretty. It's like a really soft hexagon. And then some beautiful um, like marble-like subway tiling in here. And the toilet. <laughs> and a little window in here as well. We definitely, you can see that, yeah, we definitely have to paint. Um, I really like the color of the walls in here. I don't know if you can tell. Um, maybe not here. Let me go someplace else. Yeah, maybe you can tell in that corner there. But the baseboards and the molding are pretty much just white. And so the walls, they're just a little bit more grayish green. And they're just a beautiful, beautiful color. But the finish of this paint is really, really matte. So it's almost like primer. I'm gonna have to put something down that um, doesn't mark up quite so easily. So that is the casita, my office. And I'm trying to think, should we go outside before we go upstairs? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna walk back towards the kitchen. So out of the family room here are some sliding doors. And here, here's our backyard. So we have a nice pool. It's like zigzag shaped. And there is, as you can see, there's like a hot tub in there. And then the rest of the pool. And I love the tiling out here. It's travertine tiling. And if you look up, it's just like our portico, it has like the finished wood ceilings, some lighting, and then we have some outdoor fans here. And this is such a neat feature. So this is for water runoff. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> Walking around, look how beautiful the landscaping is too. I wish I could take credit for some of this, but I can't. <laughs> this all came with the house. And then we have uh, this little area here. We still don't know exactly what we're gonna do here, but we definitely wanna build it out a little bit. Maybe get like an outdoor fireplace going or fire pit. But here's all the landscaping. And then down at that end, we have a barbecue. My husband's very excited for that. We've been making do with like a little um, a little gas one, which has treated us very well, but he's very excited to upgrade. <laughs> so there's a little gas stub here, and everyone was saying it's for a fire pit, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why it would be so close to the barbecue, so I think I'm gonna have this moved elsewhere, because, you know, you wanna sit around a fire pit, and that's way too close to the barbecue. So I'm thinking, actually, they were maybe gonna build this out to be like an outdoor kitchen, and maybe this was for another appliance. Um, but anyway, that's what that is. And then here's the other grass patch in the back. This I think is going to be Little Miss Butter's yard back here. And then that is the end there. And then we do have an outdoor bathroom. So here is our outdoor bathroom, which I really, really love. It's just beautiful. Look at the gold hardware, another poured concrete sink, beautiful like antique brass mirror, gold hardware everywhere, toilet, and then look at this tiling. Again, isn't that gorgeous? Again, wouldn't have picked it myself, but I love it. So that is our outdoor bathroom, which is very handy if you're wet from the pool. So that is our backyard. So I'm thinking a dining table here, right out of the sliding door area, and then down here, um, putting like a little seating area, you know, like a little outdoor couch and chairs, just kind of chill. Now, let's hit the second floor. Oh wait, before we do that, I have to show you, um, so there's the staircase, there's this closet here, essentially. And it's not just any closet. <laughs> it's a closet that follows the staircase 
all the way around underneath the stairs. I'm like, what are we gonna do with this closet? It's not a normal closet for like coats or anything. So there's obviously a lot of construction stuff in here. So anyway, it's just such an interesting little closet room. So let's go up the stairs. And I just wanted to show you, we have wood stairs and then the risers are tiled. Isn't that so cool? I always hate how dirty risers get because that's where you kick. But with this tile, like it's just not gonna show up or it's gonna be really easy to wipe down. So that's what we have on the stairs there. And then walking up the stairs, some beautiful windows. We've got black railings. And then here we are on the landing, we've got some more windows up here. I don't know how these are ever gonna be cleaned. <laughs> and then here are those chandeliers. Aren't they so pretty? Ah, they're so pretty. I love them. And so here we are, that walkway that we could see from the great room down there. There's that double height window. So at the top of the stairs, if you make a left, we've got a little nook here. And then we've got our guest room. So this is our guest room. There's the chandelier. If you come visit, you'll have a TV in here. So this is a really nice size room. I think we'll be able to put our queen size bed in here, the one that we had from New York, um, and some you know, end tables. We'll probably put a dresser in here and again, a TV. So really nice for our guests, really comfortable. They also have an in-suite. Beautiful tiling again, just gorgeous. We have a walk-in shower, uh, some subway tiling again, some smaller hexagons, really pretty. And I don't know if you can see the finish on this tiling. It's so cool. It almost looks like the garage floor, like it's been epoxied. And there's a seat and the toilet, <laughs> towel hanger and a little walk-in closet, which has nothing in it because all of our closets have nothing in it. And another beautiful light fixture. Oh, did I point out the sconces in this bathroom? Aren't they so cool? Let me turn these on. Aren't they so pretty? I just love all the touches that they did in this house. Just totally moving ready. All right, so out of the guest room, Again, at the top of the stairs. So if you were to make a right, walk down here. Here is the main laundry room. So I ordered a washer and dryer to go in here. That should be coming soon. And we have a sink, some cabinets, some drawers. And again, that beautiful tiling. We saw this in the downstairs laundry room. And then check out these light fixtures. <laughs> So beautiful. And then something I missed the first time we came to see this house, behind the door here, is the linen closet. So it goes all the way up to the ceiling. So it's one big closet and then three drawers. But I love all the built-ins. So that's the linen closet that's hidden in the laundry room. All right, we're back out in the hallway. Because the ceilings up here are a little, they're still really high, but they're a little bit shorter than downstairs. There are no hanging uh, lights here. We just have the LED lights up there. We have some windows up here with a really lovely view. And then the next room to the left is going to be my like dressing room. So, this one lighting fixture, I'm not a fan of. It's just really gigantic. I don't know if you can like get a sense of the size, but it's really big and it's just this big square. It's like a big cube. And it just feels a little, I don't know, it feels a little heavy. This room isn't gigantic. I mean, it's, it's big enough. But this is where I'm going to put basically a lot of built-ins uh, for my handbags and my shoes um, and some of my clothing. 
That is the plan for this room. I'm gonna put a little island here where I can kind of get ready. And then we do have some balconies. It runs all the way over, and this is what was over our outdoor space downstairs. And we've got the fans up here and the wood finishing again. Just beautiful. I can't wait to put some like chairs out here, maybe, maybe a hammock or something. So this is my dressing room. It does also have a full bathroom attached. So, hello. <laughs> so here is the bathroom here with some beautiful sconces. And we've got like a tub shower here. I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of showering in here, but nice option. Some more subway tiling and then the um, toilet has its own room and then the tiling in here is a little bit simpler but just as beautiful I really love it and then behind the bathroom door is another walk-in closet and they brought the tiling in here and another really beautiful um, light fixture up here so that is my dressing room and then back out into the hallway and if you continue walking down. So here is the primary bedroom. It's got this um, space in the front here. I really don't know what to do with it. It's kind of like the casual dining space downstairs. And, you know, I, I envision maybe like a couple of wing back chairs maybe and a little bit of a, like a round table there. Maybe someplace where we can just read or, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I have to think about that. And then here is the bedroom. And here's the interesting light fixture in this room. I think we need to replace this though with a ceiling fan. Uh, but we've got two small windows here. Of course the bed will go here. And then here we have this beautiful built-in for a television. We've got some cabinets underneath. So here's the primary bedroom. Let's check out the primary bath. So we've got this great freestanding tub. I love a freestanding tub. I really dislike like tubs that are built in, you know, with like all the, I don't even know, all the stuff around it and you kind of have to, anyway, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the way they look. I don't like how you have to like always climb over a bit of it. I just find them awkward. So anyway, I was happy to see that this has a freestanding tub. We have the shower here with the rainfall waterhead, the spout there. There's a seat in there. And then again, some interesting tiling, the hexagons. And in this bathroom we have this sort of gray stone tiling. It's really pretty. And here we have the toilet and bidet room. I have become a bidet convert ever since I went to Japan. Although in Japan, it's all built into one thing. You know, the hopping over is going to be new and different. Um, but I have to show you the light fixture in the toilet room here. Look at that. I love, love, love that. I think it's so pretty. And then we've got some double sinks here with some beautiful sconces. And I'm, th I'm trying to decide which sink I want. Do I want this one or that one? And this particular drawer facing is a little bit lighter than the rest. So I have to figure out <laughs> what to do with that. But at the moment, it's just gonna have to do. And I love these countertops too. Really, really beautiful stone. And then the closet. So here is the primary bedroom's closet. We have the same lighting fixture as we do from the actual bedroom. We have some windows in here, some of those smaller windows in here. So this is like the entryway into the closet. We have another lighting fixture here. And it wraps all the way around. We were joking that we should just turn this into a panic room because it's literally the size of my first apartment in New York, <laughs> this whole room. Sorry, I'm like focusing my camera down on the baseboard so it has something to focus on, otherwise it just starts to lose focus. 
So that is the primary closet, primary bath, and the primary bedroom. So let's go out onto the balcony here. So here we are. Here is the beautiful balcony. There's a ceiling, ceiling fans. It's beautifully like arched here, which I love. And our future neighbors are still building their home. It's not complete yet. And that's their backyard. This is our backyard. <laughs> and yeah, so this balcony goes all the way down to my dressing room. So we've got a lot of space here to like do some fun stuff. I'm imagining a lot of, a lot of hammocks. <laughs> so here's the other end. And we technically have a corner lot. So that's the street there. Um, but because it, the street turns right here, we have um, the side of this neighbor's house and then the side of that neighbor's house. But this is such a quiet neighborhood. And I think coming from New York, I really, it doesn't bother me that people are up close, like I'm so used to it. But that I think is it for the house. Let's go back inside. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this empty house tour. I apologize for this echoing. It makes me want to whisper. Yeah, we're going to be, I think, vlogging a bit <laughs> from this house. I think it's going to be really, really fun to furnish it. And it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming for someone who comes from living in such small, small spaces. Um, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to change and I wanted to I guess just lean into this suburban life, which I never ever thought I'd be living. And you know, I think the you know the lockdown and the pandemic I think changed all of us. And before then, you know, my husband and I were actually thinking about getting an apartment on the strip. Um, we thought that's what we're used to, just apartment. We don't take care of much, just like the interior. And then being in lockdown and having to stay home. Um, I thought if this ever happens again, <laughs> I want a home that I'm never ever going to get sick of, but there's plenty of space for me to move around in and just live my best life. So this is, I guess what you would call a forever home. I don't plan on moving ever again. <laughs> I hate moving so much. I'm dreading it. I'm just sitting here procrastinating with you guys because I really have to get home and just start purging. Just start purging. Um, so our boxes, I got those uh, like reusable plastic bins to move in. Um, I got a bunch from U-Haul and those aren't going to be ready for pickup until like next Wednesday and then our movers come next Saturday. So I figured until then let's just throw out what we're not moving. So when the boxes come on the 10th, we just throw everything in and and voila, we've moved. No. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. And I am ready for this next chapter of my life. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this empty house tour vlog. <laughs> I will definitely be seeing you guys in a lot of future vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very, very soon.